In this room, Mamado Abuzaid brings his passion of creating visual arts to life. A filmmaker, he says his dream is to reflect the beauty he sees in Sudan, but he says that's difficult because of a lack of freedom. So there is nothing that was ever shot that describes Sudan the way, it's, the way it needs to be described. Why not? Because of the restrictions that the Sudanese government is um, throwing upon the public. I mean, His views are not unique. Young people make up about two-thirds of the population of 42 million. And for the past 10 weeks, they've led anti-government protests. We have so much talent, but we can't display it because of the restrictions. I'm Sudanese, but I grew up abroad. I feel like I don't have a home. The regime has set rules that won't let me be myself. We all have to dress the same, look the same, talk the same. Our regime was corrupted, but I didn't know that they were, they were, they were this, this corrupted. Like, like, like blood was the last thing they, they really care about. The life of a person was the last thing they care about. Your rights were the last thing they care about. And how they just brutally treat the people. That was what, what, what I gave myself a promise. It's either me or this regime in this country. President Bashir remains defiant in the face of calls for change. Since the demonstrations began in December, rights groups say at least 50 people have been killed by security forces. The government puts the figure at 32. The protests began over rising costs of basic goods, including bread, but quickly turned into demands for the president to end his 30-year rule. The government characterized the demonstrators as traitors, influenced by foreign agents. But as the protests continued, it changed its tone and called for dialogue, but it also imposed a state of emergency set to last for a year. The ruling party says it's already on the path to engage the country's youth. We have started talking with young people because we understand that our political reforms overlooked the young. We addressed the grievances of politicians, but not everyone in Sudan. The youth have their own concerns, so we will include the youth, create jobs for them and participate them in the country's development. On the streets of Khartoum, young Sudanese have differing views. Let's wait to see what they're offering in the dialogue they've called for, and if we don't like it, we can vote in the coming elections for a new one, rather force this one out and create a vacuum. You can't believe someone's words, you have to believe their actions. And this regime has so let's say, so many words before, and they've made so many speeches and so many promises. We haven't seen anything. Each and everyone that goes out on the street and, and, and protest, the only way you're treating them is in a very brutal way. But with a state of emergency in place, there are limited options for those who want change to voice their demands without breaking the law. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Khartoum.